Hey everyone, welcome to my video on adjusting tension for your multi needle bobbin case. If you have purchased a machine and you are new to embroidery, you may not be familiar with the bobbin type or the bobbin system that comes on your machine. So if you haven't been sewing for a while, you haven't been sewing at all, this might be new to you. So the things you're going to need and the things I'm going to show you in this video are that number one, you need the bobbin case itself that's in your machine. You're going to need your pre-wound bobbins. Now I'm using the Coates L pre-wounds that I buy by the bulk. I've noticed that in some of the newer multi-needles, they're packing the Filtech bobbins, which is fine. So whatever bobbins you have, you're also going to have a bobbin weight in your supplies to check the tension. So you're gonna need those three things to adjust your tension. And remember, bobbin tension is king. So you always want to adjust your bobbin tension on your machine before you evaluate if the needle tensions need to be adjusted. So let's go to the machine and I'll show you how to adjust this. The two things you're gonna need are your bobbin case as well as your pre-wound bobbin. So this is a Coates L and the thread is going to come off your bobbin case like the letter Q. So it's coming off the bobbin on the right hand side. I'll take my bobbin, put it into the bobbin case, and then I'm going to look for the groove. So I can see the groove right there. Notice that my thumb is placed on that bobbin, giving it some tension, but so that I can also pull out some of the thread. So it still rotates, but it's a little bit stiff in that bobbin case. I'll put it through that groove around. You heard that click. And then I pull it back and it's good. But we still have to test the bobbin tension. I'll do the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take off the excess that's coming out of your bobbin. And I have the scissors over here. So I'm going to trim this to about, I don't know, six, seven inches and get rid of the excess. Then I'm gonna take this tail that's coming out of the bobbin case and I'm going to get the bobbin tension donut right here and put this right into the hole. Sometimes it's a little fiddly because bobbin thread is very, very thin. And then once you get it through, you're going to wanna to knot that. All right, so I'm just gonna take this over here, make a knot around this. And you can do whatever knot you want. I'm not real fancy here. Okay, so it should look like this. The tail is attached to the donut and now we need a wall to test the tension. So now I'm back at the wall and what you wanna do is hold your bobbin case against a flat surface because you want to see how this is coming down. See how it's starting to crawl like a spider? That's how your bobbin tension should be. Oh, looks like my bobbin tension is still perfect. And I'm really liking that. So slow crawl like a spider of that weight. So my bobbin tension is perfect. Now the question is, what if your bobbin tension is too tight or too loose? In your supplies, you're going to get a screwdriver and you have that large screw right there. So if you need to loosen or tighten the tension, always remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. Take the screwdriver that came with your supplies and rotate that maybe not even a quarter, just a little tweak going to the left will loosen your bobbin tension a little tweak to the right will increase your bobbin tension. A little turning goes a long way. So don't, I have found personally that if I turn it a quarter turn, that is usually too much. And you want to make sure that you test your bobbin tension on a regular basis, but mine is perfect and I'm ready to insert this into the machine. Okay, everyone, I hope you learned how to test your tension. And the most important thing is every time you use a different type of bobbin thread, be sure to double check the tension on it because different bobbin threads may be slightly different in their adjustments. And also, I like to try to check my tension every three or four months. You might want to do it more if you use your machine every day. I don't. And then last but not least, I had a customer last week that was very prepared. She even went and bought a toe gauge to check the tension. That's great if you feel more comfortable using a toe gauge to check your attention. By all means, do so. However, I do not own one, so I can't really talk about that. However, after you adjust your attention, I'd like you to do the pull test. So once your attention 
you have adjusted it and you put it against the wall, pull on it. Because I think that when you pull on it, you will get to know the feel of the tension and you will be pretty close to knowing if it's right or wrong. So maybe you lose your donut. Just that pull test, get used to it every single time and you will be able to determine by feel what your tension should be on your bobbin case. Not foolproof, but it should be pretty close. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and let's get started with that multi-needle.